welcome back to the channel tonight is going to be a super super busy night um if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are enjoying my channel so far make sure to subscribe down below and hit the um notification bell so that you guys get notified every time that i post a video sir i there are, we have so many orders to do let me just show you guys the intensity of orders these are orders that are already done okay and then that's an order that is only heat transfer vinyl um these are the orders that i'm going to do on this machine um these are the orders that i'm going to do on this machine and these are the orders that i'm going to do on my 15 needle machine so there is about 40 orders <laughs> have to do um my mom is going to work on tutus because there's about 15 or 20 tutus that we have to do so this is the size of the stack of orders that we need to ship out um so i haven't mentioned this in a long time um but i have mentioned it in my previous videos um, I use clipboards for all of the orders, so for example, um, when orders are done, my mom and I like to circle it and check mark it. Um, every time that we finish an order, we put it on a clipboard that is for completed orders, and that clipboard is usually um, on this little thing that I have here, where I have also the labels. And then... Um, I also have a clipboard for orders that need to get done, which you guys just saw in the recent clip. That's the clipboard that we have for orders that are pending to be done. But what I'm gonna, but what I'm gonna do today is because we have so many orders, I'm gonna use a clipboard per machine. Um, so I'm gonna put a clipboard uh, next to each machine um, because that machine is gonna be doing these orders. So for. Um, for the Ricoma, we like to do all of the unicorn shirts on that machine just because it gets it done like one after another and um, all the other designs we'll do on the single needle machines. I'm going to hoop a shirt right now, guys. The craft room is such a mess. My mom and I have not had any time to organize it. Like, it's just, it's such a mess. Such a mess. The babies. Um, playpen is a huge mess also <laughs> we just have so much work but I'm grateful <laughs> very grateful it's great I'm not complaining I want more orders bring them on it's just you know it's a lot. okay um so my mom and I I'm just gonna like re-mention everything because I feel like you know, I have a lot of new subscribers, so maybe you guys haven't watched um, all of my videos yet. Um, my mom and I like to pre-cut stabilizer. So we have a bin for um, the Singer machine, and then we have a bin for the Brother and the Recoma, because they use the same size. So my mom and I buy the rolls. My mom and I buy the rolls of stabilizer. That's not the actual roll that we use, but it looks like a, like a paper towel roll. And we cut it to a specific length. That way we are saving stabilizer and we cut it specific to the size of the hoop. Um, so then we cut a bunch of them and we have them here. So that that way when we're doing orders we just have to grab it and put it on the hoop. And we don't have to worry about cutting it. Because if you buy the pre-cut ones I think they're like 12 by 12. And I think you're wasting so much stabilizer and I think that they're more expensive. So I definitely recommend to buy the roll. I have it linked down below. Um, I also have these bins linked down below. I love these bins. I have them all over my craft room. I use them for absolutely everything. I use them for shirts. I use them for stabilizer. I use them for... My mom uses them for um, tutus. So as she's doing the tutus, she kind of puts them in the bins because they're tool so you can kind of smush them um, as you're doing them so she uses them for that we have it for tutus storage like samples we just use them for absolutely everything and they're really big and they're pretty a, a really good size to put on your shelves so and I think they come out to like three dollars I think they're like 12 
12 bins for like 80 to 100 dollars and that was the best price that i could find because i remember when i was building the craft room um i was looking for um bins but like cheaper bins because the ones from uline are super expensive so these were the best ones and the best quality ones that i could find that were at a good price and they were also clear which i love I just kind of wanted to talk about that. Um, so I'm just going to put this shirt here. And if you guys don't know how to hoop on a single needle hoop, hoop a, a shirt on a single needle, you can do it any way you like. But this is the way that my mom and I found works the best. Is you hoop the stabilizer. And you want to make sure that it's flat and then I use 505 spray this is a temporary adhesive so it doesn't leave any residue it doesn't leave um, any stickiness on the shirt it just temporarily adheres the shirt so that you're able to embroider on it so you want to take and I also have a link I also have a link for this in the description box below you want to spray it and then we're gonna be doing a adult shirt, a men's extra large. So let's find the men's extra large. And then you wanna turn the shirt inside out. So you put the shirt inside out and then you wanna fold it in half. And you wanna fold it in half with the tag facing in. You wanna take this end and this end put it on the center folded push it down so that the temporary adhesive sticks unfold it push it this way and then you'll have it stuck on there and then once you pull it off the temporary adhesive goes away you want to open the shirt at the bottom and then you will have and then you will have the front of the shirt exposed to embroider on it. I'm gonna put it in the machine. You wanna make sure that none of the shirt is under the hoop, because since it's such a big shirt, you wanna double check, make sure that there's nothing under the hoop that might embroider over top. This one, I don't even need to worry about holding just because it's such a big shirt that it'll kind of just hold open on its own. And for this one, we're going to be doing a Spider-Man applique. My mom's about to tell me how many tutus we have to do. Okay. So we have to do single. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22. Yay! <laughs> Excited, excited que los voy a escoger para picarlos ahora. Si no termino a las 5 de la mañana. Si el otro día piqué 12, me metí 4 horas. Imagínate tú para picar todo eso. Necesito el día entero aquí para. Voy a picar los de colores enteros y mañana me levanto temprano y pico los otros. Me levanto temprano. So she's going to wake up early. She also struggles with waking voy up tratar, early. Voy a tratar, voy a tratar. So I doubt that she's going to wake up early. Well, she might wake up early because no, the baby's sleeping in her room today. Tenemos que hacerlo porque es, es demasiado. Yo creo que lo voy a tener que hacer. And tomorrow, Sunday, is meal prep day. So tomorrow we have to cook for the week. So 
para entonces coger los que tengo que cocer mañana. Sí, nos tenemos que levantar temprano porque hay que cocinar mañana. So when my mom cuts the tutus, she puts them with little rubber bands and puts like a little paper with the size. That way she knows exactly what size corresponds to what order. And then she puts them all in here like this so that that way they're easy. Like these are the bins that I was talking about earlier. So as you can see, she says it here. You can see the size of the rubber band. But yeah, this is like no, this is like half, I think, of all of the tutus that she still has to cut. Um, but she's gonna finish cutting them tomorrow. She's still missing all of these. Ten more. So she cut these, she's missing to cut all of these, which are all the rainbow ones. They will take a little bit longer. So we finished all of the orders um, that were planned for the brother. So empty paper clip. <sighs> empty paper clip. Empty clipboard. Okay, so we have for the other paper clip. For the other clipboard. We only have one more shirt to do. This is what the clipboard for everything that is done is looking like. So these are all of the um, orders that are done. And then these are all of the orders that are pending. So the stack for done orders is getting bigger. Um, and the stack for pending orders is getting smaller. So. Show you guys all the shirts. 
are all of the shirts with all of the appliques on them already. Um, they're all inside out, ready to put Tender Touch and the name and heat press and then pack. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, I'm just finishing up one more shirt. It's on the last little bit. It's about to finish in about two minutes or so. Oh, well, never mind. It actually just finished. So it is time for bed. So it is the next day, um, my mom and I are finishing up the orders for probably, today is like meal prep day, so we're probably going to have to meal prep later tonight because we still have like 15 orders we have to do. Right now I'm sitting on the um, single needle machine. Um, I decided to start doing some unicorn shirts here, but I hate doing unicorn shirts on the single needle machine because it takes so long just because it stops so many times when it's um, embroidering the shirt like for the multi-needle it just kind of embroiders and finishes for you but with this one it stops at every single step so um, you kind of have to like keep pressing play and play and play and play or start sorry <laughs> you have to keep pressing start and it's just very time consuming that's why I always prefer to do the unicorns on the multi-needle but Today, I just, since all we have left are unicorns, at least while that one's doing five, I can at least be doing one or two. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the stack so far of done orders. And then this is the, and then this is the stack of pending orders. So thankfully this stack is getting much bigger and this stack is getting smaller. Um, Hopefully we can finish up all of the orders today. I might go live today. Um, I might go live after all of the shirts are done, like of me packing the orders to ship tomorrow. I'm hoping that tomorrow, like once we finish everything, we can take a little break tomorrow. <laughs> uh, we might even have to end up meal prepping tomorrow. We still have food left over from last week, so. Um, worst case, we can always meal prep tomorrow and I can do the groceries that are pending uh, tomorrow when I get to work and then we can cook at night. Um. Tired, baby? You want to help Mama with the orders?
now you're right. Subscribe! Good job. She wrote you a message. She said, subscribe. Look at how cute she holds the phone. You go. Good job. Good job. Hello? Hello? Alright, so I'm going to take her to the kitchen really quick so that she could um, eat lunch. And then I'm going to start doing the names. What are you doing? A mess? Que reguero! Yeah, los viro todo. Not sure if you guys saw my um, recent video but I just got a new label printer which you guys just saw um, and I will leave the link down below basically it looks like that and you can you can connect it to your um, USB on your computer and it comes if you have a new MacBook um, that has the USB-C, it actually brings a USB to USB-C adapter, um, so that's really good. And it also comes with an extra USB, so you can never have enough, especially if you have embroidery machines. So um, I think there's also a coupon that gives you a few dollars off, I think like 5 or $10 if you purchase one of these on Amazon, and it's also on Amazon Prime, so you'll get it really fast. So link will be in the description box. I'm about to go live and pack all of these shirts. I think there's about 40 something shirts here that I need to pack. Alright guys, so I just finished doing a live um, of me packing all of the orders. If you guys want to see that, it's my um, most recent video. So we finished packing all of the orders. All of these shirts here are the sh are the orders that have tutus, and then all of these shirts that are here are all of the orders that are shipping out tomorrow that don't have tutus. And then these shirts, we have to put the names and stuff are on there. We just have to put pearls, so it's like six of them. This shirt, um, the it's not letting me sh print the label because the lady needs to reconfirm the address because it's it seems like it's incorrect. And then I messed up on a shirt, so my mom's redoing it for me. And then we have, these are shirts that are done. Oh, okay, yeah. So these are the orders that we still have left. I think it's about like seven or eight, but good progress. I am going to take a shower and go to sleep. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you guys enjoyed it. This is going to be a pretty long one. And remember to enter the giveaway. Um, it ends May 10th. If you want to know how to enter, um, just watch the video linked in the description. I'm giving away a cricket and a cricket heat press. See you guys. I will see you later.